What is diabetes? And why does it happen? In a healthy adult, the food process happens like this. The food we eat enters stomach and the digestive system. Carbohydrates in this food is broken down into glucose, which is a type of sugar. Glucose enters the bloodstream and reaches the cell. Our body cells use this glucose to produce energy for its performance. But for the glucose to enter the cell, it needs insulin. Imagine insulin as the key to the door on cell for glucose to enter. Insulin is a hormone produced in the pancreas, a small organ placed right below the stomach. For people with diabetes, the process happens the same way, but the issue starts at the insulin production. There are two types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. In type 1 diabetes, the body isn't making any insulin at all. This is because of an autoimmune response whereby the body has destroyed the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. The reason for this has not been identified yet. Type 1 diabetes accounts for about 10% of all cases. It's most often found in the in the under 40s and it's by far the most common type of diabetes found in childhood. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas makes less insulin than what is needed, and the body becomes resistant to insulin, meaning those insulins are ineffective. Type 2 diabetes accounts for about 90% of all cases in the population. It's most common in the over 40 age group but in recent years the average age group has been reducing. Hence, when a diabetic patient consumes starchy food, it gets converted to glucose in stomach. But this glucose is not being used by the cell, due to the absent or inefficiency of the insulin. The glucose level in the blood gets high. To lower the level of glucose, the body tries to get rid of the glucose through the kidneys. That's why people with undiagnosed diabetes tend to go to the toilet a lot to pass urine. This also caused excess thirst due to large amount of water was flushed out of body. Since the urine contains a lot of glucose, it is quite easy for bacteria to thrive so it's quite common to get thrush or genital itching. The blood also contains a high level of glucose. Hence bacteria will tend to breed in flesh wounds causing slow healing of wounds. Glucose can also build up in the lens at the front of the eye causing the liquid in the lens to become cloudy and have blurred vision. Because the body cell doesn't get enough glucose for energy, the person will be tired, lethargic, and unable to go about their normal daily routine. But the body still needs an energy source to work properly so it starts to break down its fats in body and that led to weight loss. The diabetic symptoms are common for both types of diabetes. But due to the severity, type 1 diabetes symptoms generally happen quite quickly, like often over a few weeks. The symptoms can be reversed once the diabetes is treated with insulin. The symptoms for type 2 diabetes come along very slowly and some people don't have any symptoms at all. So, for that reason, people can live with type 2 diabetes for up to 10 years before they realize that they have it. Type 2 diabetes can be treated in several different ways. For started, making changes on diet and doing proper exercise to lose weight could be sufficient for some people. But do note that type 2 diabetes is a progressive condition, and most people will need some form of medication to treat it. Hence consult your doctor for the proper treatment plan. Check out our other videos on healthy eating. Thank you for watching this video. Do like and subscribe to our channel. Good food, good life. Let's get healthy through food.